Hi Aquarius, it's Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with your monthly Twin Flame reading for September. So this is all about your... <laughs> oh, I had this commercial free playlist and then suddenly got commercials. So it's about the Twin Flame relationship and I'm going to look at both sides, the Divine Masculine and the Feminine. And I'm going to do kind of a comparison reading using this spread that I have in my booklet. This book comes with the Holographic Tarot. So we have this Twin Flame spread that I came up with, with his feelings, her feelings, his thoughts, her thoughts, his hopes, her hopes, his actions, and her actions. We're gonna go back and forth between the Twin Flames there, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. And every month I use a different deck, and this time we're using the Alchemia deck for the Feminines, and for the Masculine, the Illuminati Tarot. They're both very like beautiful, golden, rich colors. The golden energy with all these jewel tone colors inside too, like they're almost like pastel jewel tones. Anyway, very beautifully done both of these decks and I was really excited to use the alchemy as soon as I got it so if you want to see see what it looks like check out the playlist I just made also um, for the divine masculine I have the romance angels oracle and the romantic fairy so divine masculine masculine feminine male female is not always the same thing and you might see yourself in the masculine side instead of the feminine side it just depends on what you resonate with but let's first check into your message so we're going to get sort of like a general overview message see what's going on in your situation ship here all right for aquarius this can be your sun, moon, rising, or any other placement. What is the general atmosphere here for the Divine Masculine? Dem divine Masculine, Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising. <clears throat> Let's see. Ooh, healing family issues. Interesting. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So it could be something like that. It could be childhood wounds. It could be a current family that you're involved in or that the masculine's involved with. And there's just some healing having to take place in the situation before too much more can move on in the relationship. All right, let's see. Or in one area before you can continue on with, with the twin flame situation <laughs> and and it could be a healing within the twin flame situation too like your soul family or it could be um healing that your ancestral room wounds as well so let's see now about the divine feminine here what is the divine feminine feeling towards your divine masculine aquarius sun moon rising and other placements Ooh, see, we have heat. Oh my God, healing's going on here. A lot of healing. And when I when I came up with my cards, I liked some of the the imagery and the wording, but I wanted to go sometimes in a different direction. So this is your your romance will transform your life. I wanted. To, I like to see healing as as a way to just completely transform yourself inside and out and become whole and more than you were before all right very nice very nice healing connection okay so let's go ahead and get on the reading now so aquarius how does aquarius feel divine masculine how does the divine masculine feel <laughs> towards this divine feminine in the month of september Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, or other placements. How is he feeling? It could be towards her or the relationship. He's feeling, I think he's feeling pretty good. He's feeling that I can do it all. I can juggle anything. Give me a task, I can do it. I can have my cake and eat it too, maybe? <laughs> this is also, I can multitask. I can 
you know be an entrepreneur I can be a renaissance man but whatever they're doing they're enjoying their work they're enjoying doing many things at the same time that doesn't bother them at all so I feel like they can also juggle their inner and their outer worlds you know and also all dimensions that they deal with <laughs> okay let's see now what the divine feminine is feeling in the month of September towards her divine masculine Aquarius Sun moon rising and other placements what is she feeling towards her divine masculine oh okay let's see what we've got Ooh, she's she's got kind of got a sneaky attitude you know what this reminds me of though a little bit of like the disguise um it it sometimes it can be read as as stealing and sometimes it can be read as deception but i like to see it kind of also as um some kind of escape you know without being seen trying to trying to and it's not always very clear on what you're doing it can also be um a kind of an aladdin thing as well like um giving giving to the poor you know giving taking from the rich and giving to the poor well still taking from the rich is not even right whether it seems like in the bigger picture is the right thing to do the bigger picture is that they're giving to the poor right so think about it so maybe she feels like there can be some way some things are um some rules are meant to be broken and and so to speak you know like robin hood you know like this kind of feeling like uh, or aladdin like you know that little kid's about to starve i'm gonna give him some bread you know <laughs> But yeah, um, it there are the rules of society and then there's the higher rules, right? So I feel like she's sort of um, frustrated with the rules of society and wants to break them and wants to find ways to get around them. But it's it doesn't always work when you're dealing with, you know, multi-dimensions. And this 3D dimension doesn't always look so favorably on these kinds of actions so so it's important to 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 do you know to have this energy to have this being authentic and an, uh, non-conformist is okay and being maybe even a little bit of a rebel but at the same time um doing it in a in a way that that doesn't get you in trouble basically <laughs> and doesn't get other people in trouble because you don't know like maybe sometimes you took something that that person really needed at that time and mo a lot of times you know even if you're weighing it the pros and cons of it they're still still taking from that moment from that time from that also also with the seven of swords i think of time too i think of just like the five of swords like kind of cheating time like you can't rush into the future. You have to you have to take everything step by step. You have to go through the process. You have to go through the journey. There is no quick ways to get to to the the ultimate to the end. And also the journey is the most important thing. It's not important to the end goal, the the final destination is not what you should be focused on. You should be focused on the path. So if you're if you're finding that you're doing these little I don't know these kind of little um, oh they won't notice I'll just do this or they won't notice I'll just take this then you might want to rethink that you know because <laughs> I'm not sure that's what I'm getting that's what I'm getting she's feeling like oh I just wish I could just just have it this way but there's no shortcuts okay let's see now what the divine masculine Aquarius sun moon is rising is thinking about his divine feminine in the month of september the ace of oh two aces the ace of wands and the ace of cups he's thinking i want to give her a whole lot of love i'm going to give her all of my love this is like all of my love all of my love to you this is 
you know, compassion and an outpouring and its creativity and empathy. The Ace of Wands is, um, is it's like love and passion, love and sex. It's, it's new enterprises and um, new opportunities and inspiration and adventure. Ooh, I like that. New opportunities and adventure. All right, now let's see what the Divine Feminine is thinking towards your Divine Masculine. <laughs> okay. In the month of September, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. So she's thinking, oh, I just want it all. You know, I want the... The wish is coming true, joy, satisfaction, bounty, well-being. And that's a good place for the, um, this is a good card for the thinking placement. So if the feminine is in this, instead of like trying to take the shortcuts, you know what a good shortcut is, is just believing that you have what you need already right now in the present, right? Instead of um, kind of longing or wishing for something that's not there yet, imagine it right there with you always. So yes, it's here, it's right here. You are bountiful, you have plenty. This can also represent single people too and um, appreciating sometimes being, you know, having a life of luxury or being independent. Appreciate the independence while you can can have it, you know? So yeah, so she's she's looking at the bright side. She's thinking, I appreciate my independence. And I am in living a full, rich life, and wishes are coming true for me. So those are good thoughts. Okay, so now let's see what are the Divine Masculine's thoughts in the month of September. Not his thoughts, sorry. His hopes. What are the Divine Masculine's hopes towards his Divine Feminine and their relationship in the month of September, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, ooh, good one. He's hoping, oh wow, so happy over here. He's hoping for, you know, clarity and and success, some more success there, joy, um, sunny days, confidence, good energy, insight, and the ultimate union. He's definitely hoping for that union. So now let's see what the Divine Feminine is hoping for in the month of September. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Ooh, yes. <laughs> She's hoping for him to come riding in his chariot. I like this specific chariot card because it's not black and white. It's just white. It's just like, well, there's a little color in the reins, isn't there? A little diverse color. But there's, it's a subtle thing, you know? It's like... Either way, either direction you go, there's triumph. This is focus and drive and determination and movement and victory. This makes me think a, a little bit of um, Spartacus, <laughs> you know. It's like this determination, like getting, getting to where they need to go. Okay. All right, so now let's see what the Divine Masculine's final actions are going to be towards the Divine Feminine in the month of September, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Oh, wow! Yay! Congratulations! He wanted the union, and it looks like he's going to get it. Wonderful! And it's not just, it's not just cups, which is, would be good too, but it's, it's, Oh yeah, it's cups, sorry. <laughs> I was gonna say it's pentacles, but, but cups is good. Cups is an all encompassing contentment, feeling the joy, the bliss of, of union, of togetherness, of being at one with each other. So that's, that's so, so sweet. So sweet. All right. Okay, and let's see now what the feminine actions are going to be towards the divine masculine oh i was gonna say when i saw that house i was like what them too <laughs> uh very nice though we've got the king of pentacles so she is really focused on her divine masculine and you know she's gonna let him be boss 
She's she know, she's devoted to him and she knows he's devoted to her. He's a leader, he's committed, she's trusting in his commitment, he's a provider and he's stable. And she's not gonna question any of his, his strengths and she's just gonna have faith in him. And then the fool is kind of a leap of faith, you know, it's, it's like I said, it's having faith in your divine masculine. So have faith that he's coming through like that, like a like a, a man on a mission, a man in, in charge of his own destiny, coming through on the chariots. There you go. All right, let's see now. Uh, let's get some, I don't know, let me put this over her so we can see this. There. So you can see all your cards. Okay. So, whew, let's get some charms here going. Look at all these white horses, too. Okay. Oops. We got a lot of interesting songs on this playlist. Alrighty. Wow, so you've got the world here. You have sweet and sure. Your mom loves you. You have the open hand here. You have the cross, which represents faith. You have the deep and beautiful mermaid. And look, you have the key to each other's hearts. There's a lot of love here, and it's a sure situation. It's sure and divine, and it's sure, sure. Are you sure? I'm sure, sure. Are you sure, sure, sure? I'm sure, sure, sure. <laughs> it's going to be like that. Are you sure, sure, sure? Yes, I'm sure, sure, sure. You've made a commitment. Now you're sticking to it. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> All right, so so come in and come into the world and and maybe traveling and seeing new sights together. Yeah, because I see the adventure happening for you. Very good, very good. All right, so if you like that, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment below. Um, share it too if you want to. Uh, <laughs> Feel free to check out the description box and send me an email if you want to get a private reading. I can do something like this just for you as well if you want to. Also, check out um, my playlist. On this side, you, you might be able to see like a little button that has the playlist. If you want to see more of these videos and check out your moon sign and your rising sign and other placements, your cross watch, your person, and whatever else, you can look at it as like a big 12 card 12 pile pick a card type reading too and just let yourself be drawn to any of them whether they're in your chart or not sometimes there's a special message out there um, there was a special message for some special people that I know that are Aquarius that are in a different pile so you can also treat it like sort of a big Easter egg hunt and see you know sometimes in the charms there something pops out in the charms that's specifically for you and go go find it go see if you can find it <laughs> see some stuff like that can happen it's, it's kind of fun um yeah if you're a subscriber thank you so much for coming back and if you're new to the channel please subscribe i'd love to have you all right everybody i'm gonna move on to the last two readings i hope you enjoyed that fear trust and pixie dust